Great British Sports Cars. Um, we just thought we'd have a look at the Escort project that we've been involved in, um, in collaboration with Motorsport Tools. It's had quite a lot of interest and um, it's now complete after the last year of development. Uh, so the brief was to build a brand new Escort. Um, so the car gives entirely new parts, all new drivetrain, um, engine, electronics and everything uh, that we've engineered um, on behalf of um, Motorbot Tools. Uh, so we'll have a look at the car, some of the details, uh, things we've done on it. So on the car um, we chose to use the Ford 2.5 Geotech as our power, power plant. Um, this complies with all the current uh, emissions regulations etc. Um, but it also offers 200 horsepower and about 196 pound-feet of torque in standard tune um, with plenty of scope to tune higher. Um, so on the engine we've used our own um, ATR throttle bodies uh, which are all developed in-house by GBS, um, billet alternator mounts, we've then done a uh, billet um, and fabricated aluminium sump that clears all the cross member and everything that gets the correct oil capacity, oil surge etc. Um, coupled to the engine we're running a six speed Mazda gearbox, uh, this is a brand new modern gear change so uh, none of the old type 9 leaking and uh, whining gearboxes. Um, this is mated to a light and flywheel as standard and then there's a choice of clutch option depending on what you're doing with the car. Um, we're using full coil on plug then we've uh, partnered up with Life Racing on the ECU. So we're running a Life F88 ECU. Um, same ECU used in um, high-end motorsport, Le Mans, used by M Sport, um, etc. Uh, very nice piece of kit. Um, it's got a lot of technology in there um, that always enables us to put safety modes on the engine, warm-up cycles, limp modes, etc. Traction control. So very much all the features everyone's accustomed to in a modern car. Um, that we've then put back into a retro mod if you like. Um, on the car, the whole electronics, we've looked at and designed a custom loom. So there's no fuse box, relays or anything on the car. We're using a full PDM, so a power distribution module. Um, this enables you to configure each driver channel, current loads, etc. and a certain amount of programming and intelligence in the system. <coughs> Uh, so we can adapt the car as it grows and depending on what options the customer has, so whether they have central lock-in, electric windows, aircon, anything like that in the future, um, it's all taken care of in the design work. Um, we've then also integrated a whole new steering column, um, which was an issue for both IDA and supply of the old Escort ones. Um, there's certain things that a modern car has to have in terms of collapsible, certain angles of shaft, um, We've then put power steering on the car as standard, so we're running an electronic power steering motor. Um, this is also linked into the ECU, so we can alter the rate of power steering according to road speed and depending on what tyre, what wheel and tyre option you're going to. Uh, so it's got that functionality there. Um, we'll have a look inside the car. So looking inside the car, this car is still very much the first prototype car, so there's still a bit more refinement in terms of the, the trim and the detail. Um, but engineering wise, so we've had um, a whole new column that we've done that's got all the correct steering locks in. It's then coupled to the power steering motor. We've altered the steering position and the drive position a little bit just to make it a little bit more ergonomic, a little bit nicer positioning. Uh, the modifications to the tunnel of the car to allow for the, um, the modern drivetrain. Uh, this includes doing a uh, redevelopment of the gear linkage. Um, so the standard position coming out the gearbox was too far forward and meant having a a sort of dog leg linkage which didn't feel right so we've designed and engineered our own um, billet shifter with all the mechanism in so it moves the gear linkage back and gives you a nicer sharper gear change um, so it's a more ergonomic driving position instrument wise in the car we've developed um, in association with uh, smith's a full canvas um, gauges so everything's all linked on the car on one electronic platform so the ecu talks to the PDM, the ECU talks to the instrument, so all that data is spread around the car. Um, so we can um, display all the data we want to do, it's all configured to see whether it's a change light, uh, low fuel level warning, um, etc. It's all there. Um, 
So we've developed that. We've also altered the handbrake mechanism, which was another IVA thing. Um, and it also gave us um, a little bit more room, got it in a nicer position. And we've got the ability to have a standard cable or hydraulic as standard. Um, but the hydraulic is added after the test as it's um, not a secondary device. Um, this is going to be future developments within the door. It's already pre-designed within the loom, but it enables us to put um, full central lock in and electric windows. So it's all engineered in there ready that will be coming out um, later. Um, going back, we're running uh, tw twin fuel pumps in the back, um, a motorsport valley type fuel tank um, with the filler neck. Um, we've done a few other things on the back of the car. On the boot, we've done it on gas struts now. So rather than the, uh, the old Ford spring mechanism, um, it's on gas struts. It just feels a bit modern and a bit nicer. Um, there's still going to be all the carpeting and everything in the boot if customers choose to. Um, but as I said, this car's just the, the first prototype. We've also on the car had to do quite a bit of time work on um, exterior edges, lighting position, e-markings, just to bring it up to current standards because it was all based around 70s technology um, and positioning of the lights, um, rolled tips on the exhaust for instance, li li lots of little things all over the car. On the car as well we've also looked at trying to make it um, more usable, more one so um, we've got all new glass in the car. Um, heated windscreen um, and rear screen um, that's all controlled by the PDM so there's functions within that so it won't drain the battery it'll only come on when the engine's running and above certain voltages etc uh, we've done a whole new um, heater matrix for the car um, again that's controlled so we can control the temperature in the car and the fan speed and everything and it's all variable um, new wipers go for the modern flexible blades um, so in a crash or a pedestrian strike, um, they'll flex and move. Uh, so there's quite a lot of you know, modern features and thinking uh, that we've had to put into the car. Um, it's running a um, full five link rear axle, um, Bill Stein skirts, it's got the AP calipers on. Uh, so quite a nice you know, standard specification with all the right parts. So performance wise on the car, it's sharing a lot of the components and the technology and development we've done on our, on our own car, the Zero. So they're both using the 2.5 Geotech at 200 horsepower. Uh, on the Zero, it gives you 0 to 60 in around three seconds. The Escort's a little bit heavier, um, so it's slightly slower, but it's still very quick, very drivable. The torque that the engine delivers and the way it delivers the torque make it very usable, very drivable. Um, it feels very quick, very responsive. Um, we've not done any 0 to 60s yet or uh, anything. We've got a few videos of it driving there, um, but it, it does drive really nice, uh, especially coupled with the six speed gearbox. Um, so it'll happily cruise you know, 80, 85, uh, no problem. So in conclusion, um, it's quite a nice showpiece of what GBS as a car manufacturer, engineering company can do. Um, so not just on our own cars, we do a lot of other external engineering pieces, development, um, hence the Escort in collaboration with Sport Tools. Um, if anyone wants to see more on, on the Escort, uh, please have a look at the Motorsport Tools website. If you're interested in GBS or the Zero, come on and um, have a look on our website. If it's interested in a project or any engineering, um, please get in touch.